see um, let's see Mr. Hennessy and see if he's set on deck. Yeah, Mr. Hennessy, can what's cooking from? Can y'all hear me now? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah, we can hear you from. We can hear you. Okay. Can can I jump in because I was listening to y'all. Uh um you asked uh you asked homeboy there, the three biggest artists. He said uh Diamond, but then some day and whatever. But I'm surprised you didn't say Hennessy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he get an X. That's on him. He gets an That's X. That's on him. What, what, he canceled. Why, 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 how is it on me? He didn't say Hennessy. <laughs> I said Hennessy. <laughs> no. What's the short form of Hennessy? Henny. No, he didn't These say. I was boys, listening. These are the boys moving. <laughs> so he said I'm Vanessa Henny. You, <laughs> no, I said Vanessa I'm Henny, not you. Vanessa Henny. <laughs> oh, my God. What's good here? How are you guys good, doing? Fam. We're good. We've been hearing most like, a lot about you, but straight from TZ. I, I don't mean, know what's what what what's... you just released a new song popping. It's been out for a month, and I just have to say that song is popping, popping. I've seen the challenges Thank to it, sir. and uh, well, let's just say they're pretty crazy. <laughs> crazy fun, really, really crazy. So, what what inspired the song popping, man? Or was it just you know something that like as part of the moment kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Um, popping is basically, you know, it's like, um, I touched on the basis of, uh, how we live, how we pop, but then also I try to make it like, show you, uh, you know, we pop with, like, we make, like, we hustle all day. And then at the end of the day, we go and have a, have a good okay. time. But it, when we hustle, money. we don't just, yeah, we, we hustle, we get the money, but we just don't do it with like, just brothers. We do it also with sisters. So that's why I was showing the video, like maybe I'll, I'll walk in into salon, mm. pick up my cash and I'm gone. And I walk into this place, pick up my cash and I'm gone. So there's yeah. different things that we do. I try to incorporate ladies into this video, into that, into that more of that crunk type of video. You know what I mean? I try to bring them more into that. So that was the whole idea of the video of all day. I start out hustling and then nighttime I'm having a good time. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. you know, when someone listens to Tanzanian music, they expect, you know, Swahili vibes, all of that. Mm -hmm. But you're different. You're yep. one of the few artists who doesn't necessarily rap in Swahili, but yeah. you chose to rap in English. What was actually, the song comes out really nice yeah. and neat. So I want to know, what was the reason um, behind you? Because I'm pretty sure you speak Swahili, you do what? Mm -hmm. But what was the reason behind you choosing to rap in English rather than the dominant Swahili from your nation? Yeah. Um, because, um, first of all, for all the people who are watching right now who don't know Hennessy background, just a quick background I'll give you about me. Um, I grew up in the States and I grew up in Toronto, Canada. So when I started music, I started music like a big, a, a while ago. And when I, I was, I started writing in English. I never did it in, Sw in Swahili, but uh, I do understand Swahili. So when I came back to uh, Africa, when I came back to Tanzania, like around 2012 and stuff like that. I was looking at the game and I was like, yo, these guys ain't gonna really understand me and stuff like that. But I came here on a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up I ended up opening up my label and then, you know, open up, uh, you know, I signed some artists and then I'm also an artist, but I find myself, I was always in the studio recording. And then, you know, some few people are like, yo, why don't you just do you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's a passion. So. That's why you hear a lot of English in my songs and a bit less Swahili. Uh, and then it's just, it just took off from there. But the good thing is that, uh, you know, with the label and with the movie, I got the movie production, stuff like that that I'm doing out here. People are, are, are loving the, the, the swag. People are loving that. I'm not copying. Listen, it's like this. The industry has about, let's say, 100 artists. Out of 100 artists, you got 95 who are all singing the same thing and sounding in the same way. For me, I don't, I'm not really down with that. So my type of vibe is like, yo, I'm a certain food. Like if you like chicken, you want to eat chicken, you want to you wanna, you wanna, you wanna taste chicken, then karibu. You don't like it, it's all good. So uh, I'm very appreciative for my uh, Tanzanians and East African brothers and sisters who are supporting me and also putting me on the map. And uh, to be where I'm at right now with the type of music that I'm doing, not easy, but I appreciate it. Mm. Yeah, you, you mentioned earlier that you're <laughs> from, you grew up in the States and Canada. What was the reason to you coming back yeah. to Tanzania uh, and you didn't pursue the music from those ends? Um, I was doing music. I mean, if you follow me deeply, you'll find a lot of materials on YouTube and stuff. I was doing a lot of music in Toronto. 
you know, but it's a harder, it's a harder game to come out. You know what I mean? You gotta go, you gotta leave, you gotta leave Canada and go to US and 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 push your music out there for a long time. So it was, it was, it, you know, when I came out here, it was like it was for me just to be here for like six months, and then I was out, you know, going back to North America. But when I came back out here, I was just like, yo. There's so much opportunities. There's so much businesses. There's so much this. There's so much that. And then that just changed my whole perspective. And I was just like, nah, I'm not really ready to go back to North America because, you know, I just, I saw now, like, I saw the African dream. Like, I saw it. Like, it was in front of me. I, I thank God, I guess, the way I grew up and what I see, uh, sorry, I, I guess what I see is that um, I realized, like, this is hot. Like, Africans, the problem is Africans don't realize, like, Everything about Africa is beautiful. And, yeah. and if we were just smart and united and just had 54 countries or 55, whatever it is, and just did it the positive way, like free trade and free this and free that, like everything, you can just move in and out. I go to Uganda, I do business. You guys come here. We go on the West Coast, we go north. Yo, we'd be so far right now. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But um, I didn't kick off because I was afraid. I was like, yo, my English might be too strong, whatever. So I was studying the game. In North America, it's kind of hard, it's harder, I should say, to start your own label, to push your music, whatever, and this and that. You gotta have serious dough, bro. Like, I remember when I was in Toronto, like, I met up with, uh, you know, Tory Lanez and those type of guys, Director X and those type of people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I was in university and I, like, I was interviewing Tory Lanez. He came up, he came into... I had this radio show and he came into it. I was rapping on some music and I, I got this radio show all of a sudden and I was like branding Canadian stuff. But then like Tori walked in and he's a little dude, you know? But now he's a big superstar. So you gotta go to, you gotta go to, you gotta go to, you gotta go, to, you gotta go on the other side of the border, like US and you gotta fight and you gotta do this and you gotta do that. Plus it takes a lot of dough. So I found it more easier for me. And I'm thankful that when I came to Tanzania, I found it like, yo, I think I can make it happen here. And that's what I did. So I 